he still gets to deliver this promise to them. And so Jeremiah 29.10 says, when 70 years are completed for Babylon, I'll come back to you and I'll fulfill my good promise to bring you back to this place. For I know the plans I have for you. Plans to prosper you, not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. And then it continues in verses 12, 13, and 14. And this is where we can really undergird how great this verse actually is because remember, they have given up on God and he's still saying this to them. God says, when you call on me and come to me and pray to me, I will do what God says. I will listen to you. God says this. He says, you will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart. I will be found by you. In the middle of people saying no to God, he's still saying, I'm here for you. When you come back, when you seek me with your whole heart, I'm still your father in heaven. You gave up on me. I didn't give up on you. And so this verse, Jeremiah 29, 11, is encouraging. We have to understand it in light of when it was said and who it was said to because it tells us that we have a Father in heaven who loves us and won't give up on us, who sent his Son to die on a cross for us to free us from our sin and then deliver the promise at the very end of Matthew, and I will be with you always, even to the end of the age. So go into the world and deliver that good news. Not fake good news of cheap and easy and quick and you will get everything you want, but the actual good news that we can be free from our sin and have God with us as we go and live out this life. We get to be visible evidence that eternity is good and restoring and redemptive by the way that we live our lives. We get to be visible evidence that our Father in heaven loves us and will pursue us because We understand that so deeply that no matter the circumstance, we know that God is with us.